First at five, a day after Albert Ian Schweitzer was cleared of the murder of Dana Ireland, the legal battle continues. A DNA expert testified that Sean Schweitzer and Frank Pauline were also not involved in the woman's death in 1991. Sean Schweitzer was released from prison in 2000. Frank Pauline died eight years ago, still behind bars. But attorneys say it's still important to vacate their convictions. Erlin Kawano has exclusive details on what's next. Albert Ian Schweitzer's case was a priority because he was still locked up. Now that he's been cleared, the attention has shifted to the others. The handcuffs were removed about 4.40 Tuesday afternoon, and Albert Ian Schweitzer was able to leave court a free man. He spent more than two decades in prison for the rape and murder of Dana Ireland. Now that the conviction has been overturned due to new evidence, the focus shifts to his younger brother, Sean, who was also convicted of the crime. And looking at Sean's case, he's just as innocent as Ian, and uh, as innocent as Frank. Frank Pauline Jr. was murdered in prison in 2015, serving time for the Ireland case. His attorney, Miles Briner, is also working to clear his name for his family. There are two grown sons that are alive. I don't want to identify them. One of the reasons being is that they had to change their last name because of all the problems that occurred as they were growing up with the last name Pauline. The motion to vacate the remaining two convictions will include testimony from Schweitzer's hearing, including the DNA expert, who said advanced testing on samples taken from Ireland's body, clothes, and other items at the crime scene exclude all three men. The evidence instead point to one person, known as unidentified male number one. The evidence is incredibly compelling. There are seven DNA samples that prove that Ian Schweitzer and his brother, Sean Schweitzer, are innocent. They are all innocent. I remember early on in the case, I said one once, my son is innocent. And I'll say it again, my son is innocent. Both of my sons are innocent. Miles Briner says he plans to file the motion to have the Pauline conviction overturned next month. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Lynn.